We will see all these things in this video. Welcome to our channel, Best Project. Today, we will discuss about the topic, IoT based solar string fault detection system. Nowadays, use of solar energy is increasing, also increasing the risk of its maintenance. To reduce the maintenance efforts, we have implemented this project. Please watch complete video for better experience. Let's talk about the components used. It is main switch, it is used to turn on and off the entire system. This connector is used to connect solar string 1. And this one is used to connect solar string 2. This is a voltage regulator circuit to provide constant 5 volt. It is the second most important part of project. It is node MCU. This device provides internet facility to send the data to server. It is removable for study purpose. The Arduino Nano is the brain of system, it is removable for study purpose, it has following features as described on screen. It is a voltage divider, it helps the Arduino to read DC voltage. We are using Nokia 5110 LCD, it will display all the important parameters for string monitoring. This black push button is used to create artificial short circuit fault for string 1, and this push button is used for string 2, same for short circuit fault. This red toggle switch is used, to create artificial open circuit fault, at string 1. For string 2 open circuit fault, this toggle switch is used. This LED shows the supply of, solar string 1. This LED shows the supply of, solar string 2. If you find it helpful, please like the video. This is the solar panels, used as solar string, 1 and 2. You can clearly see, two terminals are there, one is of string 1, and second is for string 2. Time to connect solar strings, to monitoring setup. Using the nut connectors, we can easily connect, both of solar strings, as you can see. Both strings produces, combined 12 watt of power. Please like this video for our support. Time to connect the setup to internet. For this, we will use mobile hotspot. First, go to mobile hotspot section on our phone. Then go to hotspot configuration. Change the settings, according to Arduino code. Change the name of Wi-Fi, according to Arduino code. After putting both the information, Save it and turn on mobile hotspot. Setup automatically will connect to phone. Time to visit Android app. For this, go to Blink app on your phone. It is retrieving the project info. Project setup is already done on Android app. There are widget available to monitor our project parameters. This is our final testing setup. Solar panel is placed on full sunlight. Let us turn on the setup. Project name is appearing on the screen. Name of students appearing on the screen. There is no fault showing on the LCD. Time for open circuit fault test. We are going to make open circuit fault at string 1. Fault showing on LCD and mobile screen. Red light indicates open circuit fault at string 1. Again going to on string 1 supply. Fault has recovered successfully. No fault is showing on both screen. Making string 2 open circuit fault. S2 string fault detected. Red light indicating, open circuit fault at S2. Also showing the voltage of, string 1 and 2, on the gauge. Going to recover, open circuit fault at string 2. Showing OK, on LCD. 
default has eliminated on both of the screen. Let us make string one short circuit fault using the push button. Fault detected on both screen. Please share this video with your friends. Short circuit fault has resolved successfully. Let us create short circuit fault at string 2. SCF fault detected. Also resolved due to release of switch. Some more test is conducting of our project setup. Again you can see its performance on random faults. LED lights indicates the continuity of supply of both strings coming from solar panels. If you have any queries, ask in comment section. Using this system, we can easily detect the fault of any solar fan. According to its performance, it is working very fine. For better operation, it must be placed in full sunlight. After this session, we will have a look on backside wiring. Please like this video for our support. If you wanna buy this setup, visit description box. If you have any queries, please ask in comments section. We have many other videos on different topics. Please visit to our channel. We will see you in next video. Take care.